everyone, it's Megan with AboveRubyStudio.com and today I am here at Custom Crops. I am part of their awesome design team. Custom Crops is amazing. They are such an awesome company and they are so much fun to work with and work for. So today I am going to be doing one of my design team videos for you. I am going to do some fun things for Christmas, whether you use it for home decor or as a gift for someone. It's great for last minute quick gift ideas. I think you're really going to enjoy it. You can do these projects whether or not you have a Cricut machine, which is awesome. We're going to have some fun with some new elements and maybe some old elements and maybe even a surprise or two that you may or may not have already seen or heard of. I kind of am trying to think outside of the box a little bit. I'm a little bit of a copycat and yet I'm making it my own. So hopefully you can follow along. I'm not going to take all the credit here. This is just for your enjoyment to have some fun this Christmas season. I hope you love it. All right, so let's get started. As you can see, I have this huge plethora of stuff in front of me. I'm going to move some of the things aside. We're going to start um, with this soda bottle. Now you can use a clear glass wine bottle or a um, like a drink, drink mix bottle. There's like different shapes and stuff out there. Just a clear glass bottle is what I'm using. And I liked this one. It looked very vintage. It even says vintage soda pop on it. I thought it was really cute and it's going to be great for this project. So what we're going to do, I'm going to set this all aside here. Get everything out of my way. I'll make a mess in the process. I'm also using some fine glitter. This is the Martha Stewart glitter. You can use any glitter that you can find. I've used thick foil glitter. I've used a whole plethora of different things. But I'm going to go ahead and just use this new Martha Stewart because I really like the color of it. It's new for me. It's not new in the sense of it's new for Martha Stewart. Um, it's called Jasper. And the awesome pledge with Future Shine. Uh, you may have seen this a couple times. Uh, happy, happy, joy, joy. Christmas with the Cricut. A few other girls have done this, and I've seen it on the Cricut message boards as well, where they use this pledge inside of glass Christmas balls. Well, I'm going to use it inside this soda bottle. All right, so I'm just going to, if I can, carefully, squirt a, oh boy, squirt a whole bunch in here in this bottle. I'm going to squirt quite a bit in. All right, so I'm gonna just use a paper towel and plug this top up a little bit. And I'm gonna really, really shake up this bottle and coat it really well with this now pledge. we're going to grab the Jasper Color Martha Stewart glitter. And I am going to pour a ton in here. You know what, I'm not even gonna use the sprinkler. I'm going to actually open it up. Can, <laughs> carefully. Okay, now I'm gonna just pour it right in here. There's, you're going to need a lot with doing a big bottle like this, but you're also going to be able to save some of it too. So you're going to just shake up your bottle really, really, really well. I don't know if you've seen this done with the ornaments, so that's why I'm showing this the whole way through. You can do this with decorate it yourself Christmas balls and it just looks so beautiful. But I had this idea for the soda bottles or wine bottles and I just thought this is too perfect. I have to show it even if it's not completely, completely original, it's something else to show. Now you're just gonna dump the excess back into your glitter bottle. You're not gonna have a lot because you're really filling this guy up. So here he is, I'm gonna set this aside. This is just one part of this project that's gonna be so beautiful when it's finished. In my mind, it's already beautiful. Isn't that really cool looking? Do you see this awesome red glitter in this bottle? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I think it's gorgeous. It's starting out great. Now, we're gonna set this guy aside. Okay, so to finish off this little bottle here, I am going to, you know, I'm going to get my hole punch. I have this little tag cut, cut out says peace on it. And it, the Cricut cartridge winter woodland, it's the tag cartridge, or I'm sorry, the tag feet, uh, creative feature on the cartridge. And it's cut at one and one half inches. I'm just going to grab a paper punch here. 
just a simple hole punch. And right at the very top, I'm just going to punch a little hole in it. Right up there in the top. And then I can, whoops, I can actually tie this on here. I think that is just simply adorable and the perfect home decor decoration or Christmas gift. Now you can stick more of these little sprigs in the top or you can grab a regular old bottle cap like so, place it on top. You could even use these little, so on this little bottle cap, I'm gonna grab these Jenny Bolin stickers and I'm gonna type, or I'm gonna put on the word joy. And now this can go right on the top of my little bottle here if you want it to. You don't have to. It's just totally your preference how much or how little you want to decorate your little bottle. But isn't this a fun, fun project for the Christmas season. I thought it was perfect. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching me over at customcrops.com. You can visit me at aboverbystudio.com anytime and continue to check me out here at Custom Crops. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you later. Merry Christmas.